A truly Orwellian scheme, later admittedly conducted by the FBI for decades, is COINTELPRO, an acronym for Counterintelligence Program, which illegally investigated and disrupted political activists, religious organizations, civil liberty groups, anti-war groups, and others that were deemed problematic by the establishment. Martin Luther King Jr. and other leaders of the civil rights movement and those associated with the NAACP, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, were targeted as well as groups protesting the Vietnam War, including many college students. J. Edgar Hoover had ordered agents to expose, disrupt, discredit, or otherwise neutralize the leaders and activities of such groups. It's important to understand that most of the targets of COINTELPRO weren't doing anything illegal at all. And they were just trying to change society for the better by encouraging civil rights or protesting the Vietnam War. But that wasn't what the establishment wanted and it was disrupting the social order. Agents involved in the program did a lot of illegal, underhanded, and dirty tricks to disrupt their targets, including mailing forged letters to leaders of organizations claiming to be from someone else with accusations that someone's wife was cheating on them, illegal wiretaps, spreading false and slanderous rumors about people, frame-ups, vandalism, and more were common tactics still used by the deep state today, of course. 